Hi guys, me again, another video. Uh, right, this car, the, 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 this car came with me with two problems. Um, I'm actually going to do separate videos for each problem. So uh, if you look, you might going to find a video for that uh, light in there. Okay, which I will explain a little bit uh, more in detail when it comes to that. But the first problem the car came with, or the other problem the car came with, is that uh, driver's window is not working. So if I try to pull it up, nothing happens. When you put it down, you can hear the click inside the door. But obviously the window is already fully open, but it doesn't come up. Uh, the same from this button here so you can hear the click if I press down but then the window doesn't come up so the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to probably uh, take the take the panel off and uh, and go from there see see if we can spot something there so guys so the the car has been removed and uh, the first thing I could see is that someone has been tried to get that fixed uh, was tabs broken uh, clips bent uh, so someone has been definitely uh, messing about with it now before I even touched uh, in there I've just took the 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 card out and the first thing I'm going to do because uh, I want to understand if the problem is going to be the motor that little door module in there I don't know if you can see over there that module over there or if it's some other wiring problem so what I've done is I hooked my uh, DS708 for you guys that follow my videos you know I use this uh, I do have the proper Volvo machine but for what I'm going to do here this will be more than uh, capable uh, so I'm um, already I'm gonna go back just to show you so I'm gonna go under passenger door module okay and even before I read any codes or anything I'm gonna go under to active test And the first thing I'm going to try is pull, I, I know the window is already fully open, but I'm going to try to pull the motor down to see if I, we can hear that click. So it's ready to start, I'm going to press. You probably couldn't, but I, I can hear the click over there, the relay. So that's fine. Now let's going to try to put it up. And as you can see, it's saying started nothing happens no noises no nothing so to me that tells me it's going to be something inside uh, that little module in there because otherwise um, or or one last thing something between the module and the motor so but I think I'm gonna try the module first because it should be a relay that should be activated when I press this and I can't hear anything in there but just to make sure what we're gonna do uh, sorry guys I had uh, something um, so but what I'm gonna do just to make sure I should hear a click when the motor comes up which I believe we should what we're going to do is we're going to go to the driver's door module and once again I'm going to bring this window down so this window is fully closed as you can see so window down So I could hear the, clear, the relay deactivating and activating. Now we're going to do the opposite. 
yeah, definitely. I could hear the. I don't know if you could hear the relay deactivating when the window was fully closed, but I could definitely hear it as well when the window uh, starts to go up. So definitely, there's a relay uh, that needs to be working. Um, so we're gonna leave the DS708 connected, it doesn't make a difference. Just uh, take the key out. So, uh, here we are. Now on my uh, workshop, sort of. Now I've kind of opened the issue already. So this is the module. To open this module is just unclip these little tabs here. Drop done. And whoa, right. I really hope you guys are gonna be able to see this. I'm gonna some sort of um, uh, see if you guys can see this. Hang on, come on. All right. Oh, you can see it now. There we go, can you see that water damage right there? As you can see. No, oh, focus this, yeah. There we go, all that damage in there. So it looks like the leg of that little IC is completely gone as well. Uh, there's some water damage on the other side as well. So... Well, I'm going to start by cleaning the PCB and uh, we'll see what happens. But before that, I'm going to test the relay. Uh, this relay, uh, a lot of these relays, uh, they are dual coil, uh, which basically means uh, that it's like if there is two relays inside of one. And uh, I'm going to test the relay, just make sure it works, both coils. So that's going to be that one. So what I'll do is I'll just going to use this uh, transformer. I don't know if you can hear. That's one coil. Now we're going to test the other one. Hope you can hear. So the coils are working, which means the relay is good. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to start to uh, clean the PCB. where this damage has occurred. <clears throat> right, this side is actually good. I might just resolder. I might just get resoldered, but uh, after cleaning, um, I hope you can be able to see this. After cleaning, man, the phone. All oh, right, come on. Okay, so you can see there. So after cleaning, there's no, it's nothing to worry about. Why well, I can't focus this properly? I really need to get a proper camera to do these videos. But all right, guys. So as you can see, after cleaning, it's pretty much okay. There's no damage lanes. Anything like that, so it's, this guy, this side is good. I might just get it uh, soldered again, especially this capacitor here. It looks a little bit. Whoa! Sorry, guys, that you need to watch this. So that's it, so that's good to me. Now it's gonna go to the other side. This side doesn't look so good. So, because it's very thin, the legs, I can't really use this whole toothbrush. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the glass fiber pen which is this 
a little pens. You can buy them on eBay or some sort of whatever. Just need to be careful because they are a little bit more. Uh, they, are, they are a little bit more aggressive. Right. It looks like I'm gonna be able to recover this. Which is obviously good. Okay. Let me clean the table. So what I'm gonna do is basically what happened is I mean, you're probably not gonna be able to see this now, but uh, I'll try to show you. So basically, what happened is So this first leg here, come on camera, right this first leg here, the leg is still in there, but the pad, which is the little bit on the, which is the area of the PCB where the pin is supposed to solder, the pad is pretty much gone. So it's, I don't, it's gone, it's, it's, not, it's nothing there. So. What we'll do is, so what we'll do is, uh, what we'll do, let me see what I'm gonna do. Shall I put a, shall I run a wire? Actually, it might be a little bit still, it might be a little bit in there that I'll still be able to use it to just solder this again I think I'm gonna attempt to solder this Try this a little bit. It's gonna put a little bit of uh, soldering paste or flux, whatever you want to call it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reflow or resolder all these six pins, even the other ones that still look okay. I'm still it's a quite small chip, so let me bring my temperature down on my soldering iron a little bit. I should do.
right. I need to get an extractor fin as well. Or we'll just make one. Now, to solder the last one, I'm gonna need a little bit of solder. Have a clue if it's done or not. Let me clean these and see. No, the solder didn't quite stick to the pad itself, not, not to the pad, to the leg. So I managed to get a little bit, you're not going to be able to see this, but I managed to get a little bit of... Uh, so I managed to get a little bit of solder right there on the pad itself. You can't really see it. Now, but I managed to get a little bit of solder just on the pad in there, so that's that's good. But the solder didn't quite stick to the actually leg. I believe there's still some dirt in there, some contamination of the water thing, and obviously the solder didn't quite on there. So I'm going to have to clean this a little bit further. I'm going to try this again. I think I got it this time. Just definitely, I got it. Let's just try to see. Let's quick follow this lane so it goes through there. Yeah, it goes straight to the relay itself. So let's gonna check for continuity in there. That's the relay leg. Let's gonna. Spot on. So done. Now, as I said, I'm gonna kind of resolder slightly this area that was as well with some water damage. It's a three capacitors, pretty much, that were under those conditions under that situation. So, just gonna that one needs a little bit of solder actually. Oh, 
then we'll do that one. And that's it. And that's it. I'm quite happy with the. I'm quite happy with the, the results. Just uh, double check, make sure there's no other or damage components or. No, this. It's nothing else. That's it. I'm happy to. I'm happy to try. So we're gonna put this back. Put this back in there. So. That's it. It's gonna go put it on the car and see what happens. So time to try. I'm not gonna even try the DS708 or activate the window. I'm just gonna go through the uh, switch because the switch is not in there yet. So I do believe it should work like that. So ignition on. It's gonna try. There we go guys, look at that. So down, we just need to learn the window. So it does it automatically. There we go, so it goes down. Now up. Job done. So just put the card back on and problem solved. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope that can help you somehow. Um, any questions, uh, like always, just put them below. Thank you guys. Guys, just one last thing because I thought it was important. So when I went to these, used to clear the codes, see what's in there. Uh, so I had a first code which was uh, B117E72, which uh, stands for uh, Front Window uh, Up Mechanical Failure, Actuator Stack Open. So that's probably, I don't know, uh, is, is, is a more, is a descript fault. It tells you it's a mechanical fault, the actuator is stack open. But I believe the code that was for the actually electrical failure inside this U, which you, you have just seen me uh, repairing it, was that code in there. It says B118E00 uh, and it says left front window general failure. So it's just a general failure. It doesn't tell you nothing. So uh, no subtype information. So I strongly believe this second fault that went in there uh, is the one that was uh, for that uh, um, uh, electrical failure inside the ECU. So if you ever have this code, perhaps, maybe, uh, you should start to look inside the, the door ECU. And now, yes, that's it. Thank you for watching, guys.